We now go ahead to solve problems on variation which we have studied in lower classes. Direct variation. Students, we know when variable y is dependent on variable x such that y upon x is equal to constant k, we say that y is in direct variation with x. It is symbolically written as y is equal to kx where k is a non-zero constant. Inverse variation. When the values of y and x change in such a way that y into x is constant which is k, then y is said to vary inversely as x. It is symbolically written k is non-zero number. Number. Exercise 6.6 Question 1 Transform the following into mathematical form 1. The mass of the iron block has direct variation with its volume Solution Let us write the first problem in mathematical form Since mass directly varies as volume We write it symbolically as shown Hence M is equal to KV where K is constant 2. The area of the circle is proportional to square of its radius. Solution. In this problem, area is directly proportional to radius. Hence, write it symbolically and then express it as A is equal to KR square where K is constant. Question 2. If Y is in direct variation with X and X is equal to 18, when y is equal to 15, then find 1. Value of y when x is equal to 4.5 2. Value of x when y is equal to 2.5 Solution We express symbolically that y varies as x. Write the equation as y is equal to kx where k is constant. Substituting y is equal to 15 and x equal to 18. Therefore, 15 is equal to 18k. Therefore, k is equal to 15 upon 18. k is equal to 5 upon 6. Substituting the value of k in equation y is equal to k into x. Therefore, equation of variation is equal to y is equal to 5 upon 6x. Now to find y when x is 4.5, substitute the values of x and k in the equation y is equal to kx. We get y is equal to 5 upon 6 into 4.5. That becomes y equal to 3.75 To find x when y is equal to 2.5 use the same equation to substitute for y and k. We get our x as 3. Question 3 y is directly proportional to x square and y is equal to 128 when x is equal to 16. Find y when x is equal to 10. Solution. We first write symbolically y is directly proportional to x square and express y is equal to kx square where k is constant. Now find k by substituting x as 16 and y as 128. Therefore, 128 is equal to k into 16 square. Therefore, k is equal to 128 upon 16 into 16. We simplify and get k is equal to half. Substituting the value of k in equation y is equal to k into x square. Therefore, equation of variation is equal to y is equal to 1 upon 2x. Now to find y when x is equal to 10. y is equal to kx square. Substituting the values in the equation, we get y is equal to 1 upon 2 into 10 into 10. We get y as 50. 
Let us solve the following word problems on variation. Question 4. The area of the circle varies directly as the square of its radius. Find the radius of circle whose area is equal to the sum of the areas of two circles whose radius is 5 cm and 12 cm. Solution let us write symbolically that area varies directly as square of radius. Therefore, A is equal to Kr square where K is constant. Now, if area of big circle is A1 and radius is R1, then it is written as A1 is equal to Kr1 square. Let area of small circle be A2 and A3 and radius be R2 and R3 respectively. Then A2 is equal to KR2 square and A3 is equal to KR3 square. Now R2 square is equal to 5 centimeters. R3 is equal to 12 centimeters. According to condition, area of large circle is equal to sum of areas of two small circles. Hence, a1 is equal to A2 plus A3. So, Kr1 square is equal to Kr2 square plus Kr3 square. We hence got an equation which relates the areas of the circles. Now, K is common factor which cancels out. We therefore get R1 square is equal to R2 square plus R3 square. We substitute R2 as 5 and R3 as 12. Therefore, R1 square is equal to 5 square plus 12 square. We get R1 square is equal to 25 plus 144. Therefore, R1 square is equal to 169. We get is equal to as 13 centimeters. Radius of big circle is 13 centimeters. Students, let us start inverse variation by solving problems on it. Exercise 6.7, question 1. Transform the following into mathematical form. 1. Temperature remaining constant, the volume of a compressed gas and its pressure are inversely proportional to each other. Solution. We express the relationship between the volume and pressure. The volume of a compressed gas and its pressure are inversely proportional to each other and it is written symbolically as V is equal to K upon P where K is a constant. Therefore, V into P is equal to K. 2. The intensity of light from a lamp varies inversely as the square of the distance. Solution. Intensity is inversely proportional to distance d square is written symbolically as shown. So, i is equal to k upon d square, where k is a constant. Question 2. Y and x have the relationship of inverse variation between them. y is equal to 10 when x is equal to 15. Find y when x is equal to 20. Solution. We express the inverse variation symbolically as shown. Hence we get xy is equal to k, where k is a constant of variation. Substituting x is equal to 15 and y is equal to 10, we get k as 15 into 10, which is equal to 150. Therefore, Equation of variation is equal to xy is equal to 150. Let us find y where x is equal to 20. So substitute x in the equation xy is equal to 150. Therefore, 20 into y is equal to 150. Therefore, y is equal to 150 upon 20. Therefore, y is equal to 7.5. Question 3. 
if y is inversely proportional to 1 upon x cube and y is equal to 4 when x is equal to 2. Find y when x is equal to 4. Solution y is inversely proportional to 1 upon x cube. We write the inverse variation symbolically. Hence, we get y is equal to k upon x cube where k is a constant. By substituting x as 2 and y as 4, we get y into x cube is equal to k. Therefore, 4 into 2 cube is equal to k. Therefore, 4 into 8 is equal to k. Therefore, 32 is equal to k. We get y x cube is equal to 32, which is equation of variation. Now, substitute x is equal to 4 to find y in the equation y x cube is equal to 32. We solve the equation for y and get y is equal to 1 upon 2.